Okay, so today we're making this um, pop-up presents card. So it looks like this on the front. And then when you open it up, there's these little presents. Now, you could certainly make that a cake. Probably the original card was a cake, but I'm using it as presents. But you could certainly make that a birthday cake if you wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. <clears throat> All right, so the outside card is 11 by four and a quarter, and you score it at five and a half. So this is the outer shell of the card. Might help if I folded it, right? There we go. And then you need an inside. And the inside is 10 and 3 quarters by 4. And it's scored at 5 and 3 eighths. That's half of it. Okay? And then I'm just going to fold that. Okay, so this is the part we're going to work with right now. And this is the inside interactive part. So you need to have a ruler and a pencil. All right. So this card, you're going to be working with the fold at the bottom. All right. The fold is at the bottom and it opens at the top. You're gonna take your ruler and you're going to measure up from the bottom. You're going to measure, just let me get this here, one and a half, and then you're going to go uh, one and a quarter is the next section, so it's two and three quarters, and then this section here is one inch, so it's three and three quarters. And this is all on your instructions, okay? So then I'm just going to turn it and I'm just going to take my T-ruler and I'm going to draw a line across here. All right, so now you have the bottom section, the middle section and the top section. Pretty easy. Then you're going to, I'm just gonna do something here. I thought I printed off my instructions, but obviously I didn't. then I can show you on the instructions. Okay. All right. Okay, so then this section is an inch and a half, this section's an inch and a quarter, and this section is one inch. So now what we're going to do is we are going to measure in on each side. So I'm going to measure in on the bottom section, I'm gonna measure in one inch, on each side, okay? And then in the middle section, I'm going to measure in one and a quarter on each side. And then in the top section, I am going to measure one and a half inches on each side, okay? So now, again, I measured in one inch on the left and one inch on the right. I measured in one and a quarter inches on the left and one and a quarter inches on the right. And up here, I have measured in one and a half inches on the left and one and a half inches on the right. So that is right here in the instructions, okay? 
So here's my lines right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, whoops, I'm just going to turn it and I'm just going to draw lines, straight lines, following that tick mark. And then the middle section, I'm going to do the same. This is where a T ruler is nice because you just line it up with the top there and you can draw a line. There we go. So now it looks like that. Okay. So now at this point, you want to score on these lines here. So I'm just going to take my ruler and my embossing tool. It's stuck in here. Oh, ah, pulled it right off. Guess that's not going to work, is it? Okay. So I'm just going to take my ruler and my embossing tool and I'm just going to go over this line from here to here, just right in there. Okay. And then I'm going to do it here too. Just go over it a couple of times. It's just, you're going to be bending the cardstock there. So you do need to have some sort of full line to follow. All right. So in your instructions, we're at this point right now. So you can see there's dotted lines there. That's your score lines, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut. So I'm gonna get my, my Tim Holtz scissors out. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to snip along this line just to that first line of our bottom section. All right, I'm just cutting to that line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to fold it up. And you wanna make sure it's pretty straight. Let me just see that. And then take your bone folder and just go over top of that like that. All right. And then you're going to fold it back. And again, you can just go over it with your bone folder. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and you're pushing that box to the other side. And it goes quite nicely with that score line. All right, the next one. So now, as you can see in the picture, it looks like this. Now we want to do this one. So I'm going to take my paper. Now, when you're snipping the next one, you're not snipping this box here. You're just doing that middle section. So you kind of have to push this one out of the way. And then I'm just going to snip up here to that line and snip up here oops to that line all right and then you're going to do the same thing we're going to take this and fold it up right along that score line and I like that and then I'm going to open it up and you push that to the inside. Okay, so now it looks like this. And lastly, we're gonna do this top section. Again, we're only cutting this part, don't pull that up. So you have to kind of tuck your finger in it like that. And then I'm going to cut up to this first line. And this one. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna fold that on that score line. And then I'm gonna open this, fold it back, and push it to the inside. Okay, and then when you turn it around, you have your presents. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, it's probably easier right now to, I think I'd put mine all together, but I guess you could put your presents on here. Now, I use this paper right here. And I use this for the presents, see that? And then I just use the back of it. I'm gonna show you right now. But it's got great little things for um, this card and you can use different things like you could put that on top for a cake. You can do all sorts of things using that and we have that in stock. So I am just going to cut this present. And I'm going to cut this one. And I actually left the little bow on the top. So I'll just cut that out. Oh. Grab that. just going to cut one from here. All right. So I'm going to get my cutter. And the bottom one is, I believe it's two, let me see here. It's two inches by an inch and a half. So I am going to two inches this way. And an inch and a half. And two inches. So there's my bottom one. And then my next one, I'm using the back side of this and that one looks to be one and a half by one and a quarter. So we'll get that cut. One and a half by one and a quarter. And then I cut this one. This one is one by one. Okay. All right. I'm going to get my glue I'll just put some glue on there and put that one up here I think this is such a cute card there we go and then this is the middle This is the bottom. And fold it down. And there's our present. Isn't that sweet? Okay, now I did some stamping. And so before I put it together, I didn't bring the stamp. Well, there you go. Oh, well. Anyways, you can do some stamping there. All right. 
So I'm just gonna take my bone folder and go over top of this and make sure everything is good. And you don't see those pencil lines, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the ounce for the outside of the card. So you don't wanna put any adhesive, of course, on your presents. I'm just putting it on the outside here. Okay, so this card, I'm gonna line this up, up to that fold, and you do about an eighth of an inch on each side. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm gonna put, oh, I did it upside down. <laughs> there we go, we do it this way. And you leave about an eighth of an inch. Okay, and then now it's right. And now I'll just attach the side and close this up. And we'll see. Yep, that looks good. Okay. And now for the front, I used the, um, I cut some mats. So this mat is three and a half by four and three quarters. And this was just the other side. So this one is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this of course is three by four. So I will get these on. And I think on my original card, yes, I did a stitch rectangle on it, so just leave some equal spaces here. And then the pink one. Put that one on. And then my three by four card. And on my three by four card, I did stamp happy birthday and I used the um, sentiment stamp that I use all the time from Lawn Fawn. So there we are. Yippee, it's your day and then they open it up and there's presents. I just love it. You know, you know me and in interactive cards and this paper just worked perfect. I just think it's adorable. So on the original, I did the happy birthday with that stamp that I use um, a lot. You are so awesome. And it's the Lawn Fawn one. And it's called Simply Sentiments, I believe. But it's a great stamp. I use it a lot. All right. Okay, so that's that. That was a quick one. So if you want the instructions, or sorry, if you're on the master list, the instructions will go out today. If you aren't on the master list and would like to be, uh, you can uh, message me your email. If you would just like these instructions, you can also ask for those too. And please go over, um, Kevin's loading up my videos daily from uh, my lives to YouTube. So, you can go on there and um, view the videos and save them and like and subscribe. That would be wonderful. Okay, tell your friends about it. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Okay, so this is the stamp and it's called Simply Sentiments. And this is the one that I use quite a bit. And it is $21.79. And it that has you are awesome and happy birthday. Congratulations, so happy for you. And there's lots of things on here. So it's a really versatile stamp to have. 
Our, yes. On the card, yes. what size are the sentiments? What was oh, that? No, on the paper, what size are the sentiments? You mean here? On the paper. On here? I, I can't see yet. On the paper, a sheet of paper, I guess. On this? No. On oh. Oh, on this. <laughs> Sorry. Make a wish, party, yippee. You know what size? Three by fours. Yeah. But I, she's asking about the sentiments, so. Oh. The sentiments? These look like they're about three eighths of an inch tall. So you can judge that's three by four. Each of these cards is three by four. Okay. And then the back is the pink. So you can get a lot of cards out of this. All right. 